Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number BF151. This is an offset pull handle is what it is. Uh, this is a tiny little pole, not tiny, uh, it's a smaller diameter, it's a three quarter inch diameter versus the typical one inch diameter that you would normally have in a commercial application. And removing it from the packaging, this is what it looks like. Might be a nice little pull handle. <laughs> it's not little. It's it's just petite. Uh, um, pull handles for commercial doors, again, one inch. So I don't mean to say this is little. It's actually probably quite perfect for what you're doing. Um, I have sold these to restaurants when they have access doors to... Um, some sort of a closet, um, whether it be uh, some back of house operations or it be electrical, um, electronic equipment, or it be access to like the wine storage door. It is attractive, it is functional, it's inexpensive, and it's relatively elegant looking as well. That application obviously doesn't call for the barrier free, which is the BF part of the part number that gives them that two and a half inch clearance. Um, but it does so in a relatively uh, attractive sort of footprint. Okay. Um, the fact that it's not one inch might be exactly what the client's looking for, is what I'm tri driving at when I say little. <laughs> now let's take a look at the rest of the extended description. Barrier free, 90 degree. Okay, so the pull handle comes off the face of the door in the 90 degree, either this way or this way, non-handed. This is three quarter inch diameter. This is 10 inch center to center. There we go. 10 inch center to center, which means it's going to be 10 and 3 quarter, obviously, overall length. Okay, It's going to have a clearance, as we said earlier, of 2 and a half inch. And the overall is going to be, of course, 3 and a quarter. 2 and a half to the inside, 3 and a quarter to the outside. The overall width of the item, probably about 3 and 3 quarter is my guess. Oh no, that's way off. 3 and 1 quarter. See if I can judge that a little bit easier. Yeah, I would say about three and a quarter would be the dimension from the hard outside here to the hard outside here. Okay. This is in the 628 finish. Uh, it's a 151. The 151 conspires to mean three quarter with a 10 inch center to center. The BF tells us that it is a, um, not only that it is a, um, it tells us that it is a two and a half inch clearance here. The 151 tells us three quarter. 10 inch, it tells us offset. The 628 tells us that it is solid aluminum in a anodized aluminum finish. Okay, This is what that looks like. This is solid bar stock that's been bent, that's been worked into this shape. Okay, um, That has been prepped for the mounting type as specified by this client, which was type 1. Type 1 is a um, type 1 uh, is, is a reference to the mounting type that we're dealing with. Uh, type 1 means that it is going to have two quarter 20 uh, flat head machine screws with finish washers. Okay, And they're just going to go right through the door. You'll drill a quarter inch hole, you know, maybe 5 sixteenths through the door. You're not going to drill a quarter inch hole. You'll drill a little bit larger than that. Let's take a look and see what the OD of this bolt is. Exactly. So yeah, 0 0.243. Um, so I'm probably going to be a little bit larger on that. So I've got a little bit of movement, not too much. Um, right through the door. Okay, That's your installation. That hole is drilled and, drilled and tapped quarter 20 in the back, obviously. Uh, intended for inch and three quarter thick doors as standard. Uh, you can indicate a different door thickness. In the comment field, simply indicate that inch and three eighths, two and a quarter, whatever you've got. Uh, sometimes other sizes will require a difference in price, but generally, being within uh, reaching distance, so to speak, of inch and three quarter doesn't cause that. Um, this is certainly going to be available in a whole slew of finishes and base materials. There is 
let's let's finish up the discussion of discussion of mounting mounting type. There's a number of different mounting types available. Uh, there is a link below this video to the mounting options uh, where you can review what those look like in cross section. A type one is certainly the most common, but not necessarily appropriate for what you want. If you're going to through bolt them, uh, you might take a look at type 12. If you want the head of that bolt to be a bit more decorative, definitely look at a type 12. Some people don't want to see the head of a bolt sticking on the uh, opposite side of the pull handle. Uh, they do the same sort of applications for glass door applications, single pulls, back to back pulls, surface concealed, um, in, in a variety of options. Okay, so you know, look at the chart, pick the available option that suits your requirement best, and then proceed accordingly. There's now a link below this video to the product brochure, and that will allow you to review the 90 degree offset door poles that are three quarter inch diameter along with the more common one inch diameter on that same page. The top third or so is what we're looking at. The base materials are aluminum, brass, bronze, or stainless steel. So you can have those different architectural base materials and onto those base materials can you do all of these different finishes. On aluminum, anything that you can do on aluminum in an anodized type finish is going to certainly be permissible clear dark bronze black extra dark bronze i'm sure that i know that rockwood can do onto your brass base materials you're going to do your your brass chrome nickel satin polished on bronze base material you're going to do all your derivatives of bronze satin bronze oil rub bronze polished bronze which is a gorgeous look um and then variants uh you know blackened uh, satin, bronze, blackened, oxidized, relieved. Um, a number of different variants or derivatives can be done. And then of course stainless steel. Uh, on stainless steel you can do, first of all it'll be a type 304. You can also do a 316. If you're doing an application that is going to be corrosive or it's going to be very coastal, meaning if, you, if you're if you installing this knowingly on the coast of Florida, yeah 316 is going to be um, easy to justify. All things will fail with exposure to a coastal environment, even stainless steel, and you are absolutely best off going with the highest grade if that makes sense for your application. Uh, being stainless steel, you can do satin finished and a polished finish. Uh, you can do in the, on the satin finish, you can do an antimicrobial coating, um, which would be a coating that does very slightly change the look of stainless steel. It's really undetectable by most people. It makes it look a little bluish to my eyes. Um, antimicrobial will retard the growth of mildew, fungus, bacteria, algae, anything that you don't would prefer not to transmit uh, as people touch the pull handle. That's what that coating is, is for. Uh, so if it's a hospital application, Lots of applications. Uh, I would think schools and daycare would be prime examples for uh, the use of antimicrobial coating um, because, you know, it's the transmission uh, that, <laughs> that can make, um, you know, um, the transmission of this, uh, of these microbials uh, amongst other people is what you'd like to avoid. That's what, the, what, that's what that coating does. Hospitals, in hospital applications, that's standard practice. You can do powder coating, and they're going to powder coat, I'm quite sure, onto stainless steel. What I've been told by the manufacturer is you powder coat the least expensive base material, but I don't see aluminum powder coated. Not that you can't aluminum uh, powder coat aluminum, you can, but if you ordered black as a powder coat, it's going to be a stainless base material. They can do it in single poles, back-to-back poles as well. They can do custom sizes naturally. If you wanted to have this pole in an 18-inch center-to-center, Rockwood's your company. Um, not a problem that at all. Uh, you know, I've seen marketing materials come from Asa Abloy, who owns McKinney, Sargent, Yale, Rockwood, Pemco, a million other companies. Uh, and the marketing material basically said, hey, listen, get a blank piece of paper, sketch out what you want, send it to us. And I love that. Rockwood all but encourages requests for custom made material. If they have the machinery to make it, they will absolutely do it. I can go to them for... There may have been one time that they couldn't supply what I needed, and that was only because it was 
next it was for them physically impossible to manufacture because the dimensional requirements the thickness of the material they simply didn't have the machinery the, the tooling to shape or bend the material uh, the way it needed to be done for this application um, you know a one-off latch guard I think is what it was or, an, or a security astral but if you need a piece of flat goods like a push plate and you need special function holes uh, put into that I had a client that was going from a grade 2 cylindrical knob lock on the front door of a multi-tenant commercial space in San Francisco where everything is really skinny um, and they were we were selling them an alarm lock mechanical uh, electronic combination lock but then he still wanted a deadbolt up above so we were able to provide basically plates with function holes when there must have been a total of a dozen holes in the plate on each side um, at a different back set one side to account for the stop the other side didn't need to account for the stop so we had different back sets so that the plates um, took advantage of the fact that because of the projection of the stop we needed to have those holes shifted closer to the edge whereas otherwise we wanted the plate to look balanced on the inside and the exterior because it was a a style and rail door that could date from the 1920s or earlier with San Francisco. Um, so they, they really encourage those sorts of uh, conditions. So don't hesitate uh, to ask. This is just a this is just a blank canvas is what this really is. Finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the um, Rockwood products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Rockwood BF151 uh, offset pull handle or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.